Hey everyone, in this video tutorial I will be making Apple's navigation bar. So let's get started. Let's switch over to Photoshop. Let's go to File, New, create a new document. I'm going to call my, my document nav. And I'm going to set mine to so my standard 1280 by 720 pixel document at a resolution of 72 pixels. Everything else can stay to its default settings. Hit OK. Now, first thing we want to do before we start anything is have our information palette. And it's right here. And if you, if you guys don't have it, just go up to your Windows menu, go to click on Window, and then click on Info. And that should bring it should automatically open up your info panel now let's go head over to our shape tool either by going to your toolbar or by just hitting the hotkey on your keyboard now a shortcut to shift through all these all your tools is simply just hitting shift U and it will switch up all your shape tools so essentially you want to be using the rounded rectangle tool. And let's go over to our radius and switch it over to 10 pixels. And we're gonna make our our navigation bar 980 pixels. And the height of it it's gonna be 60 just 60. Now this is just for demonstration purposes when you make your own navigation bar uh, you can make it however it is that you want. If you want to make it wider, if you want to make it longer, it completely it's up to you. You decide what is it that you want to do with your navigation bar. So just let me set my. There we go. That's <clears throat> roughly okay. Now since I have some layer styles set to my shape, I'm gonna go ahead and clear all my layer styles. So I'm gonna go to layer layer styles clear layer styles and that will get rid of all the styles now to center our our shape we're gonna select the whole document by hitting command and control A and we're gonna switch from our shapes tool to our move tool the hotkey for that is B or just simply go over here to your toolbar now here in the top we have a quite few, we have a few a few options the option that we want to use is going to be align horizontal center. So there we go, it aligns to the center. So you can see what's gonna what's happening. I'm gonna change my color to black. As you can see, it has the shape has been centered. And to deselect the document, just just hit command and control D. Nice. So now what we're gonna do is change this color. So let's just right click on your layer, blending options. You could do this in two ways, the way that I just, I just did it, or just by double clicking on your shape, and that'll bring up your dialog box, your layers dialog box. Now we're gonna, we're gonna give it a gradient overlay. Let's edit our gradient. Our, light, our darkest color is gonna be a dark gray. So right about there, that's, that's a good color. And the hexel value, for that is 49, 49, 49. Hit OK. And for the lightest value, we're going to give it a lighter gray. So that seems to look OK. OK. So now hit OK. And one more thing before we do anything is we are going to make our gradient lean more to one side than the other. So that about we're gonna put this color midpoint at about sixty four percent, and I'm just checking to see how it's looking, and sixty five seems pretty seems to be pretty good. Hit OK. Now we're gonna reverse this gradient. There we go. Now that I'm looking at it, I think it'll be a lot better if I switch my midpoint a little bit more over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> Now 
Now I'm hit OK, and then OK. Now, uh, second part of this, well, the next step we're going to do is we're going to add guidelines to our navigation bar. There's two ways you can do this. If you have your ruler open, set to your document, um, you can just either go to your ruler and just pull them out. Just drag them out like that. Let's go over there and drag them out. But if you do not have your ruler, um, second option is going to view and then select the new guideline, new guide. And it'll bring you up and bring you to the new guide dialog box. And you get to choose how is it that you want your dialog box. Do you want it horizontal or do you want it vertical? In this case, we want it vertical, so hit OK. So we just go ahead and pull this and put it to where we want. And if you want your ruler and you don't have it, just same thing. Go to your Windows menu, go to View, and then just make sure that ruler is checked on. Now I'm going to get rid of all my guidelines and start again. So just go in clear guides. So I'm just going to pull them out. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to make three. Three, three links. We'll make the two links and a search box. There we go. Next, we're going to duplicate this this box. And J. And what we're going to do in this one is we are going to duplicate the shape layer, and we're going to cut up some parts from it. So, in order to subtract a couple of parts from our shape, we go into our shape tool, change from our rounded rectangle to our rectangle tool. So now make sure that your vector thumbnail is selected, and on top make sure subtract from shape area selected. Now we're going to select the bottom portion of this and it will disappear now we're gonna now next is we're going to subtract the whole other area there we go and then we're gonna change the color to white hit okay and we're gonna make we got we're always gonna we gotta we going to delete our layer styles so go to layer layer styles and then clear layer styles so there you go we're going to duplicate our original shape first our original shape again so command and control j bring up your shape and we're going to do essentially the same thing subtract the two the left and right area so there we go oops Make sure you have subtract subtract from shape area selected, and remember to clear your layer styles. Just go layer layer styles, clear layer styles. Okay. Now subtract the left side, and now the right side. Okay, that looks good. Change your color to white. Okay. Duplicate your original layer once it, once more. Bring it to the top. Now, remove all of your layer styles. Layer, layer styles, and clear layer styles. Now, I'm going to remove this whole left area. Since we don't need it, we're only going, going to need the top portion of it. And remove the half. There we go. And now we're going to change that to white. Okay. And it seems that I forgot to subtract an area from my previous shape, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove that. Okay, so there we go. Second, now, what we're going to do next 
is set or blending mode to soft light. Actually, now we're going to set it to over overlay. Set it to overlay on all of them. All of them are going to be overlay. Now, we're going to lower the opacity to about, eh, I want to say 30%, maybe even less. So that about there looks good. So 40% is good. Lower your opacity to 40%. And that should be good. Next, we're going to zoom in quite a bit we're gonna zoom in and right there where you placed your guideline to separate your tabs you're going to make a black line so select your brush tool and to do that you can either select your brush tool on the toolbar, which is here, or you can just hit the key B and then I'll select your brush tool. Now we're going to switch to our pencil tool either by right clicking and selecting pencil tool or by simply hitting the hot key B while holding shift and it'll cycle through your all your brush tools. So, we're going to use our pencil tool. And now we're going to make a new layer. Bring that new layer to the top. Um, then, just make sure your color is set to black. And just make a line straight down. There you go. And the same thing do, it, do, same thing do for the other guidelines. Just paint and go down. To make a straight line so it won't move at all, uh, hold shift while you're, while you're clicking and dragging. So there we go. And then we're going to set that to soft light. Command or control H to hide your guidelines since we're not going to be needing them anymore. Next, we're going to make another layer and we're going to make and we're going to make the same line but this time we're going to do it with white. So on both sides of the black line that we just did, we're going to do a white line. So on both ends we're going to be making this line on all of our tabs. And now we're going to set the blending mode to soft light and we're going to lower the opacity down to about 30%. 29, 30% is good. Now let's zoom out and it looks like it's pretty, looking pretty good. Next, we're going to be adding the text. Um, for, the, for, for the text font, we're going to use Marriott Web Pro and we're going to use a font of 45. So just type in your word and then increase select all your text and increase the size to 45 to center your your text let's select our, our original layer our navigation bar by hitting command and clicking on the layer or excuse me the thumbnail thumb vector vector mask thumbnail now we're going to select our text 
and on the top we're gonna select align vertical center so there it goes that's centered and make it sure that it's in that it's in the middle we'll click it again once more time that looks good now we're gonna do another text layer and this time this one we're gonna put um, put store commit to changes select your vector mask original vector mask one more time command click select your text select the v tool the move tool and then click to align vertical center and deselect now we're going to add some text layer some style some styling to this text so now we're going to go to blending options right click blending options or double click on it then we're going to add a drop shadow set the blending mode to normal color to black and raise the opacity to 100% turn off global lighting set the lighting to a negative 90% uh, set your distance to 2 set your size to 1 hit OK and to make things easier we're just gonna right click on, on that store text layer and copy the layer style and then we're gonna go ahead and paste it on the Mac layer style Mac text layer sorry paste it that's good and now for the search box for this search box we're gonna make it so it's, it's on top of our first original shape a rounded rectangle so we're gonna choose once again a rounded rectangle tool and this time we're gonna set the radius to 30 just then go ahead just drag out your, your rounded rectangle and we're gonna set its color to a dark gray preferably just just just, just click on just sample the, the back layer that we used before for our original layer and that look, seems to look good now that we've done that let's let's add some styles to it so blending so right click blending options and then let's add a drop shadow to it and instead of being acting as a drop shadow it's gonna be a highlight so we're gonna set uh, our blending mode to screen and we're going to change the color to black to white I'm sorry and then opacity to 100% turn off global lighting set it to 90 degrees set the distance to 2 size to 1 let's let's put down the opacity a bit and that seems to look good Hit OK. Oh, what am I? Once again, let's go back into the blending options, and then let's do an inner shadow. And this inner shadow is gonna, its blending mode is gonna be normal. It's opacity at 100%. Turn off global lighting, 90 degree angle, and its distance is gonna be two. Its size is gonna be one. Let's make that two. And I'm gonna go into our blending options one more time. It seems that I made a, some sort of mistake here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that, fix the drop shadow. Now I'm going to lower the opacity down a bit more. So that looks good. Now we're going to add the little magnifying glass. So let's go into our shape tool and select the custom shape tool. Right click and look for the magnifying glass. 
If you don't have it, just select this little icon, this little arrow, and it should be the one that says ornaments. I'm sorry, the one uh, the web options, and just go ahead and click that and select the pen, and then it should be right there. Select that, click somewhere else, and then just drag it out and place it on your on your circle, on your render rectangle, excuse me. Next, we need to get rid of our layer styles. So layer styles, layer, layer styles, clear layer styles. So it's just plain white. And there you have it. That's uh, Apple's navigation bar. You can go ahead and use it in your projects next time you make one. When you're making a website, you're using it just for uh, designing or anything in general. This has been a tutorial. and. I'm going to be trying to make more tutorials once per week at least. If I if I can, I'll make more during the week, but I need to stay up with my channel. It's been nearly a year or so, more per perhaps that I haven't made a video in my in my account, but I'm going to start making more more videos. Um link, comment, subscribe, and I'll be making leave some feedback and I'll be making more tutorial tutorials. All right, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.